Hello again, and tonight I want to show you how to cook a fish. It's uh, something that everybody asks me, because people in England here are worried about cooking fish. And this is a very simple, a simple simpler than this doesn't exist. I'll show you what happened. This, now this fish has been scaled by the fishmonger, and it's been gutted. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff, some of the that I finished to clean it off properly because get rid of this. this now this is a, so simple it's ridiculous that you might think how can it be so simple huh? by the way this is a, a wild sea cream which is a bit more expensive than farm you can always 24 hours you can call the shop speak to this lovely lady called Lucia, she's the manager of the shop, and said, I need a sea bream, fresh sea bream for tomorrow, whenever. Now, this is properly scaled. Make sure you put your hands in it. If there's something left, get a knife and get, scrape it all off. But it's nice when you don't have, it's nicely clean. What's important also, give it a smell. And when it smells nice, I think it's fresh. So you put some uh, rosemary inside the belly, and that, Crush head of garlic there, like this, and a bit of salt, like this. Now you wouldn't believe it. What do we do with this? It's the simplest thing you can do. We're gonna steam it, and people say, "Oh, you know, I'm gonna steam this." It's, it's just simple. So what I've done is, I've, I've taken a, a saucepan, I put a bit of water in it, very shallow. I'm using a colander inside, as you can see. Obviously, the water has to be below the colander. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay the fish on top like this, okay? All we do is this. We put that lid on. Give it a little bit of flame. And it'll start steaming. You can see it's already steaming. So this is probably, I mean, probably this, this one will take, maybe I would say half an hour. It depends on the size of the fish, but you can see when it's cooked. So this is how we're gonna, we're gonna steam the sea bream. Later on, I'll show you when I put it on a plate, you can take it off the bone. The most important thing about this dish is you buy a nice quality of olive oil. You, if you debone it or not debone it, you put some olive oil in it and just put some, uh, maybe lemon juice if you want to some wilted spinach, and that's it. So that's sea bream, steamed sea bream, that's it. I would ra highly recommend to try that because it might sound so simple, but it's one of my favorite things, and it's, it's fantastic. Okay, after half an hour, 35 minutes of steaming, now we're gonna go to the next stage. I'm gonna take the saucepan with a steamer, this way. As you can see, I'm going to take the lid off. Put this down here. Turn off the pilot here with the meat. And now, so I use the cloth because sometimes it's hot. But it's the fish there. And let it slide on top. Now, you wouldn't believe it because it's, the thing is so simple, I said, oh, it's, you know, it's too simple. It is actually that simple. And it's the most amazing fish to eat. Now, you've got to make sure this fish is super fresh. When I say super fresh, it's all about the fish. There's nothing to it, but it has to be very fresh fish. All you do is drizzle some of this. This is an amazing Sardinian olive oil. This is almost, it's much better than our label one. You still find in uh, Delhi. And this is from Arjolas. They produce the most amazing red wines and white wines. Uh, one particularly called Turriga. Sometimes we have the in our in, uh, in, uh, Delhi, but not always. So this is the simplest way to cook fish. And by the way, when it's cooked, you can see you can peel off the skin like this. And you can see how it's cooked. 
And then you can start, you see, the flash. Unbelievable. This is, you would not believe. You say, how oh, can it be so simple? It is so simple. And this is why I want to show you this, because I like to show people simple dishes, not anything complicated. And anybody could do this, okay? We know many, see, so use a colander to do a steam, so it's not a big deal. So all you need to do is to order a, a fresh fish, perhaps from our daily, obviously. The fishmonger will deliver it for you the following day. And, uh, and that's all you do is steam it, rosemary, crushed garlic, salt, a bit of olive oil at the end, and that's it. So with that, I hope one day you'll meet me and say, you know, I've tried your fish and I think it was amazing. Because I believe it's amazing, because this is the best way to live fish, simple in its nature and in its flavor. It's just forget about sauces, and this is healthy. With a bit of a wilted spinach, this will make an amazing dish. And as I said, unfortunately, it's so simple. Sometimes when we do it in the restaurant, a lot of people don't choose it because it sounds boring. But actually, it's not boring. It's one of my favorite. Again, it's really tasty. And that's all. I hope I've bored you with all that, but yes, I'm raving about it. Thank you. Next time I'll do another fish recipe. Bye.